Hello everyone, welcome to Allergy Smart TV. I'm your host, Aaron Dwyer. Today I want to talk about action plans. So last week we were talking about medical alert bracelets and bum bags. This week I want to talk about action plans. So I uh, just want to quickly tell a story from last week on, uh, on the medical alert bracelets. I was out at dancing with my daughter and my daughter uh, mentioned to me, she said, look dad, there is a boy who has a band on just like our son and I looked over and sure enough he had a medical alert bracelet on with a sports band and I thought well there you go so um, just goes to show that it, it's very easy to identify um, people if they do have their medical alert bands on so um, yeah, that was great that was absolutely great so now I want to get into action plans so when your child or anybody for that matter is, is in an environment or, or let's just let's just talk about children in general uh, children going to school they actually need to have the school needs to have an action plan a viable workable action plan for anaphylaxis to make sure that everybody is in the know as to what to do if an event an anaphylactic event occurs so I've actually downloaded off the internet uh, a couple of the action plans. One that we use, and that's primarily for Australia. There's one for New Zealand as well, and I dare say there's uh, ones for other countries as well. But I've downloaded one from FAN, Food Allergy Anaphylaxis Network in America. I mean, it looks something like this, and hopefully you can see that. Uh, so it's um, it's quite wordy. Not a lot of images on there. Uh, they actually have on the back side of it is where their images are. It looks something like this. Yeah. Uh, uh, for us in Australia, anyway, we have this one. Single sheet, very simple. Uh, you place the child's photo up here. Likewise, on the one from uh, one from America as well. The spot to put the child's photo in the top corner. What we do is we print this out, we fill it out, it's in colour normally, and, and the child's photo is, is up in the corner here. Uh, and what we do is we laminate it. And we might do three or four of these, and they go around the particular zones within the school. So it might be the cafeteria, uh, the, um, the canteen, the staff room, behind uh, the reception desk in the office, uh, in various strategic places around the school you want to put this. So we just A4 or a letter in America. We just laminate it and uh, and stick stick some stick a photo of the child in the corner, and it's actually got some instructions on here as well, and and it just lists out what to do. Now you can get this from uh, in. What I'll do is I'll link you up and I'll put links in on the blog post as to where you can go and get these action plans. And primarily what they are is uh, there is actually a general one, I'll just show you this one. This is the general one for uh, non-children and it's, it's a fairly, it's a more, more generalist sort of one with images down the side here and uh, you can put this up in your place of business or, or uh, for your colleagues to see and, and know what's going on. So action plans, great. You get into trouble, you want to make sure you've got a plan of attack what to do if it is an, uh, an anaphylactic reaction and what to do if it's just uh, a general type uh, hive based or minor allergic reaction. So you need to have the clear steps to take. What do you do if it's at this stage? What do you do if it's at, if it's at this stage? Where do you go? Steps to take. Phone the ambulance. Administer the drug etc etc. So obviously if you are having an anaphylactic reaction first step is you give the EpiPen. Second step is you phone the ambulance straight away. You've then got 15 minutes before that first EpiPen uh, starts to lose its effect. In which case you would then, if you had a second EpiPen, you'd give a second EpiPen if you didn't see any signs of uh, the reaction uh, ceasing. So I'll just leave you with that today. Just a quick little bit on action plans. And I will see you all again next week. Bye for now.